Hi guys, um, we're back again. Uh, last week, Billy asked my classmate asked me to give her some key CNC questions and critic commented critics, sorry, commented critics about his work of her. And I sent her, I made a video and sent her uh, this. Uh, comments, critics, uh, showing her to do this more screen-like uh, hatches and to create a shade, to create a gray tone in the area. Then she could control with uh, the thickness, like thicker lines, thinner lines, and the proximity. So when they're closer, it gets darker. And when they are far apart, it can get uh, lighter. I also uh, gave her the, the tip of doing, looking for the counter lines. So making the hatches show the the roundness of the shape here here right and then I actually missed one thing to her to talk to her that and that's rhythm like uh, by rhythm I mean the speed when you are tracing and you want to avoid something like this which is just like scribbling you may uh, find some uh, it's like a style doing like that but normally it, it's uh, something that you can do when you are far experienced and so you have already have your own uh, pace your own speed on hatching all right so when you are beginning like as I said when you're beginning it will be hard to do a very nice nine degree angle cross hatching look nice and it normally doesn't work for uh, when you're working with uh, organic shapes like that so the tip is like make the shape and then you go darker just tilt a little bit and find and then go close to the previous one and then go all right and you don't want to make us too slow see how it jaggles if you go too slow and if you go if you make too much pressure and if you go too far too fast it probably will be harder to keep the distance the same all the time and the line tends to fade like that because the tip it's failing to touch the paper so uh, you you must find out your own pace when you're like working in an area like this see it's a rhythm you may put some music on, imagine that some music is playing or something like that, or just, I don't know, feel your heartbeats. And, and then listen to it and then just do in a rhythm that is, that it suits you. Uh, there are people that can go like, okay, a very, slow piece pace and something like that but i like to do a more dynamic stuff so it the work is faster i can work faster and get some energy on it so it's a matter of find out your own rhythm your own speed right and then she did this 
uh, we can tell like she found out some kind of face. We can tell that uh, here that actually my print's not good because I treated her picture of a drawing, so probably we should do that. But we can notice that she did a very nice tone overall, and but I will keep on telling to her that she could like follow more the shapes in contour lines and she also can darken more areas like around here and how does she do that so did, she did uh, this cross hatching nine degrees which I, I doesn't really think that's suitable for now but she did uh, actually in in a way she did a nice job because it, it really uh, went well and leave this impression of a, a tone right but she could uh, she could avoid this very dark lines in here and when she wants to darken more some areas like she can apply a first tone here all right see how as i'm following the the shape and then she can just tilt a little and add an, another layer always so i'll okay oh, let's darken this area here so she did in this angle see this is the angle that she's she chose to do okay good and the best way to darken it is just tilt a little bit the paper and add another layer darken up the same area see about the rhythm All right, and it seems that it can be darkened, so I can just tilt a little bit more and go for this area that are not taken yet by the lines. Darken up. All right, so I also can. Uh, I wouldn't do this way because it will create a 9 degree angle eventually when you darken too much you will have a 9 degree angle but it will be so dark and with so many layers that won't stand up it will be just darken up the area right so tilt a little bit tilt for the other side and well in this case like there's this angle so i just tilt a little bit and try to find out see how in this way i'm following the contour line and following the the volume of the shape because it's, it's rounded like a face we can see it's rounded so okay the same thing like I could try to find the shape with the line like indicate the shape with the line like here indicate the shape of the lips with the line all right but it's important to keep the rhythm the distance the same thickness of the line so it creates a tone a gray tone and also create you see create a volume of its song right 
and then see how it got darker just with a little bit of another um, another layer and here I can do the same like doing like that see and here I'm following searching for the, the shape itself all right so uh, for you they're not like understanding yet what is the, the contour lines let me take a look at this nose right here hey it just like this go like this if we were um, imagine that we were uh, modeling on 3D, we probably have this surface line, it's the mesh of the nose, all right? The mesh will define the shapes, the 3D shapes. So instead of um just doing a gray tone going this way and then going this way and darken going this way and I don't know maybe this way we can try to it's a suggestion we can suggest the roundness of the shape by doing these patches there okay the nose is round we can, we can see the nose is round here so we can just suggest with the lines curved lines the roundness so we can also suggest here this shape and then again just tilting a little bit doing a darker shade okay and then it's in it's quite similar working with uh, pencil graphite pencil or I don't know maybe maybe uh, charcoal because you start adding layers and layers starting with a lighter layer and then adding up building up the shades where is the shadows where where the shadows where the the light is what is darker what is lighter and then you create these volumes right so this is it we can and remember that we can also leave up leave the areas the white white areas for the light and we create the, the shapes like that see okay so that's it uh, remember to when you're working with the cross hatches like you can work with the thickness and the distance uh, try to get a nice speed nice rhythm to create this 
gray tones and control add up layer by layer darken up the areas that you want and in the end you can also create a follow the curve of the shape the cross contour of the shape and create shades and all at the same time suggesting the roundness of the shapes for organic shapes and forms right that's it thank you very much see you next time